In this video, I will show you arguably the best rep tank class in the game and I will answer the question that is on your mind. Is Shaman a class that I should get? It does not matter if you are thinking about getting it or you already have it, you will get useful information about it in this video. I am going to go over different situations in which Shaman can be useful and ones that in which he is not that good. I will also be comparing it to the evolved version of the Shaman. After that, I will also show you a fast way to get to the rank 10 reputation and useful quests you should be doing. At the end of the video, I am going to make a conclusion and we are starting right now. First of all, I will tell you a secret that applies to many people and it probably can apply to you too. If you do the repeatable reputation quests until you get rank 7 before starting the storyline quests, you are less likely to have a burnout. The reason behind this is because when you complete the storyline in the beginning, you will end up at rank 6 or 7 and once you start the repeatable quests, it might look to you that it takes much more time than it would if you do it the reverse way. So my method that you should try out is do repeatables until a high rank and then start the storyline so it can be easier to get rank 10. Now it is time to see what this class can do. For farming, Shaman is a good option because it has AoE on two skills and the second skill does double damage after using the first one. For farming, it is also important to note that these skills have a very short cooldown and high damage. As for Evolved Shaman, it is not as good as the original class. The reason for that is the fact that Evo does less damage and has higher cooldowns, which makes it not as good as Shaman. So, if you need something for farming, Shaman is your class. When it comes to soloing, have in mind that unlike many other classes, Shaman and Evo have something unique. The damage they do grows over time the more you use your spells while Elemental Embrace is active. That's right. And the more interesting thing about it is that it has no limit. The damage can go as high as you want. Well, if you find a monster with health enough for that. The difference between Shaman and Evo is that the second version has a rank 10 passive. This gives you a small chance to increase your damage for a single skill use by 20 times. So, for example, if you are about to do 20,000 damage and the passive activated, you will do 400,000 damage instead. The recommended enhancements for these classes are mainly Luck and Wizard. Luck is better for Shaman because it does high damage. For Evolved Shaman, Wizard is much more useful because he has Duty, HOT and Healing. If you have AF enhancements unlocked, you will also want to use Mana Bump enhancement because both of these classes have problems with keeping their mana up and if you do not have enough, you might lose all of your damage stacked on the last skill if you are not able to use it. When it comes to survivability, both of these classes will die to anything that does too much damage. While Shaman only relies on the healing he gets from his third skill, Evolved Shaman has a healing reduces enemy attack speed and also has a stun which can reapply if you are lucky enough. As for support, the Evolved Shaman stands out as better. The only thing that Shaman can do is reduce the enemy dodge chance and critical hit chance to zero. The healing from his third skill does not apply on other players. Evo can also remove enemy dodge and critical chance but he can also stun enemies, slow them down and heal other players. Now I am going to show you some of the best quests that you can do to speed up the process of getting rank 10. The first one is in Modlock village. To complete it, you have to join Cloyster and kill the enemies there. The second one is in Cloyster and to do it you have to join Modlock and kill the enemies there. Other than that, the Potion Maker in Arcane Grove also has daily quests, which require you to kill enemies in the area.
By this part of the video, you might be wondering if you want to get this class or if you want to use it. In my opinion, this is straight up the best rank 10 reputation class in the game. It is fun, it is useful, it deals rare damage, it is good at farming, it kills bosses, it does this, it does that, it does a lot. Unless you have some endgame classes or if you are already bored of them, you should definitely get Shaman. If you enjoyed this video and want to watch more content that gives you valuable information about the game, make sure you subscribe. It is simple, it takes no time and it tells me what kind of videos people like to watch, so more of it can be published in the future. Don't forget to tell me what do you think about these classes in the comments below and type down what do you want to watch next. In this video right here you will see the most useful items in the game and how you can get them. I will see you next time.